वेलकम टू आर वीडियो नंबर टू वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विथ आर मैप वर्क एंड ओवर इयर वी आर गोइंग टू मार्क मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट फ्रॉम योर मैप वर्क दैट इज माउंटेन्स पीक्स एंड प्लेटोज एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्ट्रिक्टली फॉलो द कलर कोड और द कलर की वेन वी आर गोइंग टू मार्क दिस रीजन इन द मैप ऑफ इंडिया प्रोवाइडेड टू अस by the council during the examination we are going to take or consider only those places which is a part of our further reduced syllabus so here we go first we are going to see the ranges mountain ranges what do we mean by ranges ranges means group of mountains so first we have to mark is himalayas himalaya is group of three mountain ranges first one is shivalik then himachal and finally himadri but we are going to show this with a single bold line so color which we are going to use is the brown color for the mountains and peaks for plateau you can use a pencil of any color of your choice but for mountains and peaks we are going to use a brown color the first one is himalayas now earlier we have drawn river so river number 1 was indus river and below it jhelum river just from below jhelum river okay from this point and in sikkim we have this kanchenjunga this point second point and this northeast tip of the northeast so we are going to draw a curve between this three points right something like this i will increase the thickness of my pencil and i'll show this himalayas yes perfect this is my first marking that is himalayas a group of mountains himalayan ranges second one is aravalli you need to remember that aravalli runs parallel to the chambal river so this is a chambal river and this is a border of india so somewhere between them here we have aravalli ranges okay something like this to aravalli third one is vindhyas be careful what we see here chambal river followed by betwa so here between narmada river and this is my third marking that is vindhyas okay please make sure that this line does not touch one another right so this is my third marking which is vindhyas fourth one is satpura yes between narmada and tapti river is your satpura right so this is the fourth one satpura ranges satpura group of mountains and next to western ghats and eastern ghats be very very careful when you draw western ghats and eastern ghat because i have seen student making mistake over here right now western ghats will start okay you have to leave some gap between the coastline and western ghats ghat say i'll start somewhere from here and i'll go okay it will be before the rivers and i'll go till this point right this are my western ghats and what about eastern ghats they are towards east again you have to leave some line between the coast and the land i'll start from here 
and they appear to be a broken ranges why broken they are broken by this river so wherever rivers are there leave some gap okay and it will come somewhere here right so fifth a and fifth b b r eastern ghats in block letters you have to write name eastern ghats and fifth a is western ghats please make sure that you show some gap over here okay a gap from your coastal region when you show eastern ghats and western ghats if you don't show this gap then your map marking is incorrect all right next sixth marking is nilgiri brown color and u shape below narmada river here is your nilgiri hill sixth one i'll mark it here sixth one nilgiri nilgiri it is also referred to as blue mountain nila blue giri mountain okay nilgiri between these two ranges below the narmada river now eighth and ninth one are plateaus for plateaus you can use any colored pencil any color of your choice so deccan plateau is in a peninsula region what is peninsula this land which is covered by water on three sides so somewhat triangular in shape you will mark it like this is your delta deccan plateau so this is your deccan plateau somewhat triangular in shape and what about chota nagpur plateau remember i have marked what damodar river okay so this shows your deck chota nagpur plateau so let me name it here 8th one okay this is 8th one deccan plateau capital letters and this one ah uh, damodar river covering the damodar river is chota nagpur plateau chota nagpur plateau to continue with the second part of the video let's move on to question number 6 planes when it come to map work of the planes you can use any color pencil to mark the planes the first among the planes is the gangetic planes so first let us draw try to draw the outline of the gangetic plane look carefully how i am drawing the outline don't go to nepal or even for that matter into bangladesh first draw the outline border something like this include river yamuna also and this entire plane is your gangetic plane right have you seen this for that matter you can draw gangetic plane till the western border of india also this is also absolutely fine you must get full marks for drawing this but still i prefer 
only to draw this much right but i have given you option even if you draw this part also it is absolutely fine you will get full marks okay but let's stick only to this so after drawing this gangetic plane second comes the coastal plane and as i told you there is no color key for the coastal plane here we have to draw three coastal planes that is konkan plane malabar plane and koromandal plane right now plane earlier we have drawn eastern ghats and western ghats when we were drawing eastern ghats and western ghats we have le left some space space in between this boundary of india and those ghats right but here we are exactly going to use this boundary you see this jerk this is mumbai somewhat above the mumbai and this is river krishna and tungabhadra so come here till the midpoint just above the goa this coastal line or this coastal plain is our konkan plain i will label this konkan plain later on now next is malabar plain right till the tip of kanyakumari and somewhere okay the entire kerala region this part this boundary of india this coast of india i hope this is clearly visible now comes koromandal plain now very careful okay this is sri lanka and some dots you see so take this as one end point and come here okay this river this two tributaries of kaveri come here come here and look at this jerk one jerk this entire coast coast line is our koromandal plain so here we have shown all three planes i am going to label this all together right this coast line so this is 2a in bold letters konkan plain the part which we have left is not in our syllabus but this is canara plain konkan coastal plain 2b is malabar coastal plain and finally this 2c is my koro mandal coastal plain i repeat once again the name has to be written in the bold letters only right and for plain no color code gangetic plain this was first one in second one we have to show this three now we come to seventh wala question that is desert in our syllabus we have to show only one desert desert from rajasthan that is thar desert also known as great indian desert please remember both the names because question can be asked in any form and color key for marking desert is yellow so come here above gujarat this is a point okay and this is a border of india and this river satluj some some part below the satluj river okay mark this and this is the thar desert right color code is yellow this is my seventh marking in a map that is thar desert marking has to be done in the bold letters i am repeating this again and again so it is drilled in your mind and you don't make a mistake in your examination so this was the second part of map work for semester 2 which is assumed to be the complicated part now in third and the last part of this series we are going to cover the remaining map work 
from your geography syllabus so see you all in part number 3